previously on My Farming Life. Cleared in uh, this little play with this high tractor that we brought in there just to give us an extra set of wheels that we can use. The four of us and other family members have been having conversations recently around the, the future of the businesses. It's going to be coming out. Um, there's rough plans that I know of and we're just waiting for some final drawings to come back. But it's going to essentially knock this wall down here. I'm going to be building out a new shed out the back here. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my farm and life. It's late in the evening. We're pushing. We are pushing to get some drilling done because the rains are coming tomorrow. Uh, so I'm trying to get the last of the oats here at uh, a more farm in the ground. Uh, I've got bungle somewhere over there um can't quite see me he's in the new well the hired vulture trying to get a bit of uh ground ahead of me done we won't get onto all of everything that he's plowing over now but it'll be good to have it turned over anyway uncle is away out with the roller over at uh, south healy on the ground that we recently drilled over that way uh and i am about halfway through this field uh drilling the oats and um, we just need to top up before we finish this field off and then get on into our uh onto the headlands there as well so we'll just bring out the next bag of seed easy does it there you go and we'll see but yeah we're flying along it's looking all well and good uh ground conditions as you can see right now are still pretty good stony as heck over here these fields really need to have some work done on them at some stage but that stage is not now what we do need to do is just get this all uh completed really and i think we are about done there are we yeah, so we'll keep this up here because I feel like by the time I get into the headland there, I can probably get the rest of this in. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is crack on really for the evening. We'll be bringing you a bit more of an update as soon as we can in the daylight. But uh, like I say, needs must. It is about, uh, what's gone, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night here, uh, end of October. And it's, yeah, just now really time for us to, to get going and see what we can get done here. That's up uh get the rest of the big lights on there and away we go uh so yes like i say so far so good we haven't had anyone going ahead of me here honestly just didn't feel like we need that to be brutally uh honest with you and i think we're just we're just trying to see how we can get going and um yeah i'm quite quite content with it right now my aim is to get this all done before the end of the day uh and i think we should be okay with that uh, i'm a bit further down i've got around the corner down here somewhere uh, my GPS is all still aligned and set up there. So, yeah, we'll be able to just keep cracking along. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully we won't get a roll tonight. We'll have to wait to see what the rain does uh, and, and see where we can get that in. But, you know, ultimately everything else is looking pretty good. There you go. Look at that. Straight off. Uh, there you go. We're in. We're on. We need to just uh, dial down my speed a little bit. This should be a tramline row as well, and then we will get going. I just give myself a bit more of a room there to start with. All right, press down, drill down, and we're off. A bit of a, a sneaky field, this one. Large, large hill in the middle of it, which can slow you down if you don't tackle it properly. But main concern I have is look at the stones on the surface there. We need to look in to see what that, that's going to look like for us over the next few years. Uh, the roller will push some of those down, which should be fine, but there's a lot, uh, a lot to contend with. So we will have to see what that looks like somewhere up ahead. Can't see any lights there yet, but there is a bungle up there somewhere. Um, and he's probably about halfway through plowing that field over. That one's going to be put into two different fields. Uh, we're going to put some root crops in there and we're going to put some spring barley, I think, as well. So uh, that likely will mean that we'll put a cover crop or something until uh until springtime but we will tackle that as and when we can gps is knocked out there for a moment a little bit early uh but let's lift up our front then we'll get ourselves away so yeah we're going to continue with this all evening into the pitch black and then we'll join up with you as well when we're uh, when we can probably review this and see how we're getting on in some daylight well, good morning, folks. A little bit later on than when we last spoke to you. It's about a week or so later. And my... I just couldn't check out some of the drilling. And my word has it shot up. Uh, we're about seven or eight days later. It's fully established now. Good Lord. It's absolutely flown. Uh, and I am very pleased. It's a crop of oats. Uh, small field here. But it is in. We were able to get this established. Uh, we got a lot of the drilling done up here. 
Uh, and now we've just got stuff down at Bellum to do. So very, very pleased with this. It's looking nice and clean as well. Uh, no weeds that need to be too concerned about. Uh, so that is all very good. We're just going to take a little bit of a drive over as well. Uh, field over the hedge here on our left is linseed. So that should all be in and looking good. Uh, and then we've got oats over the trees there as well. So yeah, really pleased actually. Uh, could have gone in and well, could have gone in better conditions. Uh, but ultimately we got it in and uh, I don't think it's looking all too bad at the minute hurdle fence there you go yeah look at that looking tremendous there really really happy so we've got a couple of fields of linseed on the go uh, they are our break crops just try and give the ground uh, uh, a little bit of a better uh, root hold uh, and also just to cycle through uh, from uh, replacement for oil seed rape really uh, so that should be good uh, that one's all looking very handy there. It's a beautiful day. We are November now, uh, flying along. So we've got a little bit of winter tillage work that we're, we're still doing. Uh, Uncle's actually out there at the moment. We're going to follow up with him because he's in the vulture that we still have for another week or two. Uh, so he is cracking along. Uh, we'll see what he thinks uh, if he's stopping. And Bungle's doing some things that we're going to touch on very shortly as well. But now there's slightly more concerning. Uh, but anyway, still a lot of grass around here as well. But... Everything's drilled up here that I want to get done. There's two fields up the hill there, which we'll be doing in the, um, well, coming up in the, in the spring. Uh, and then, yeah, the ground down at, uh, at Bellum is uh, being worked over and it's all done that we need to. And then we're just down at Manor Farm now as well, starting the work down there for, we're going to put a cover crop in there before some spring barley goes into those two plots. Uh, there's one more field down at Moor Farm that we need to get tackled, but that is going to be... We have to have a look into some research. We're going to put a bit of fodder beat in. Uh, so we need to make sure we're, we're drilling at the right time. And I feel like that might be more springtime. So if that is indeed the case, we will leave it be until spring. Um, and then we will just probably put some spring barley in there as well, I would imagine. But we'll see. Uh, we'll have a, a review. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's all just little bits and pieces, little jobs at the moment there, which is going well. And uh, yeah, just hiding a few things that were on the yard. We've got another load of fertilizer in yesterday. Uh, oh, we'll get around that. There you go. So that is all looking good. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of popping along. But we're going to make our way back down to the yard there because we've got to actually come back up this way in my tractor with a trailer on. Uh, and then I'll fill you in on why, because Bungle is doing something that strikes fear into many, particularly me. Uh, and we'll go and have a chat about that as well and go and see where he is and what he's doing so back down to bellum we'll grab the massey and then we'll uh, see where we're going well there you are we are back at the quarry uh just over the road from where we were before uh, looking into our field of oats and we're here because we're coming to pick up some i guess crushed drainage rock uh about half a trailer load there enough that i can get in without losing any out the back uh and so we're going to take this down to bellum uh, because there's a little bit of a project going on there, which I have had no part to play in. I have to stress that. Um, but there are three words that send a shiver down my spine whenever I hear them. And they are um, bungle, rented, digger. And uh, that has happened. So we're going to go and see what he's done. And we're going to see what his little what his mind is or what his little project is. Uh, and to see... What he's doing i've been asked to just bring a whole load down of uh, this rock so i'm assuming it's for like a french drain or something uh but we'll find out but we're also down there anyway we'll check in to see how uh, uncle's getting on in the Baltra, uh and see how things are plowing over there uh because yeah that's gonna go into a cover crop sooner rather than later but yeah a little bit concerned uh but yeah so he's been on down there since when yesterday he went down for the first time and uh so we'll see what progress he's made and what his plans are and all that good stuff but uh i haven't been down to down to the land there we're due to in the beginning of the year take on another couple of fields from over that way good lord that car was quick uh so we'll have to take a look and see about that uh, and just uh yeah start getting a plan ready for those two fields as well because yeah january will be here before we know it unfortunately uh, and then we'll be moving on and getting a bit more, uh, probably more spring barley in the ground over there as well, I would imagine. Uh, so we can plan around that one accordingly. Uh, come on, it's a heavy trailer load now. Certainly knows it's there, that's for sure. Uh, but, all right, just had to pull over, get out of the way of some traffic there. Like I was saying, the aim is to get those cover crops in by uh, where possible. 
Um, I'm hoping at least like next week or so. Uh, and then that way at least it's all done. And then we don't need to worry about that probably till March. Uh, and then we'll be, you know, looking to get the spring barley in the ground, assuming that the weather conditions are good. Uh, and then that'll be the same for the new land, which I think one of the fields is a grass that we might keep in grass for the end of the first year. Because uh, we're plowing over the grass field that we, we took on for this year that we got a, we got some uh, one cut off there. Uh, but we are uh, taking that in now. And then, yeah, uh, we'll be able to really continue to increase our, uh, our arable side of things. Maybe do a little bit of a shuffle around with the ground that we have at Bellum here and also up at South Healy so we can get a bit more grass up there where we need it. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, so much we can take in and factor in there. Easy does it. Through we go. Okay, and around we are. Perfect. Nice and slowly through the village. I've played cricket a few times in there. Not much happening at the moment, it would look like. Uh, very much nestled away for the winter. Uh, the other farmer who has this ground is still farming it. He's still getting turned over, although it looks like he's farming weeds at the moment. Uh, I think he has most of this stuff, including these fields on this side, for another two years, uh, I think. Uh, and then, like I say, we are going to slowly take over. Um, and I don't know why it's on a stagger tendency like that, but it's just the way it works out. Uh, we'll be taking over everything that's on the hillside behind the wood over there we already have and the fields on the other side of it as well we're going to take over this year uh, and then we'll see i'm not sure what the rest of it looks like i'm hoping we'll have to see what it looks like for the gentleman who's farming at the moment to see if he's using the sheds or not because i would love to get those for a bit more storage and some grain storage so we're not because right now for example we've got half a trailer load of wheat and half a trailer load of beans in the tra in the uh, trailers up at uh, south healy at the moment they just have nowhere to put them in there. We're not ready for them at the dryer. So it's a real pain. If we had a floor, we could tip them on there and even get a dryer in ourselves. Well, that would just be handy. Uh, all right. I think we're up here. And there we are. And there he is. All right. Uh, okay. Let's just go and see what this carnage is all about, shall we? Massey's off the plow now, at least. He's been doing a little bit of different work. Got the rollers on it recently. It's been going well. Hello, Bungle. Never are you happier than when you have a digger to play with. What are we doing? Hello, son. Well, I had an idea. And I wanted to see if it would work for when we start to get a little bit busier down here. Okay. So, we're, we're digging a hole in the woods. Is that what we're playing at? Uh, well, something like that, yes. We're going to be looking to build a bit of a pond in here. Uh, I got a permit to use this as a um, an extraction reservoir for spraying. Okay. Uh, you do know we can't do that without a sprayer very well at the moment. Well, I know, but it's probably more in mind for when we get a contractor in to do the bigger fields. Oh, okay. okay look at that sun, by the way. Lovely down here. And so what's the, what's the game plan down here? What are you doing? Well, you'll see I've made a start with some of the piles over there. I'm going to build a bit of a dam. And I'm going to ramp it all up around that far side there. And then we're going to feed the drains into here from the side. And we're going to feed the drains in from the field. And there's a bit of a stream in there, if you remember. And that's going to just slowly fill up and allow us to have a bit of a suction pond for our, our sprays when they come in. Okie dokie. And leaving the trees, I hope. Oh, I leave the trees. And where are the drains and where do they come through? Well, just along the side here, under that track. They'll come in on a diagonal and there'll be some from the field on the other side. I see. Okay. And how long you got this digger for? What's the plan with that? Uh, a couple of days. A couple of days will do it. I see. Right. Okay. Well. I'm going to have to have a play in the digger. I haven't had play in one of those in a while. Um, and then we'll, where do you want this tip in? I've got about seven or eight tons of stone here. Where do you want it? Um, I just stick it on the track there for now. All right, that's what we'll do. I'll, uh, I'll just go and pull this around the corner. If you want to get that digger moved out of the way, that would be great. All right, no bother. Okay, good Lord. This madness. Absolutely bonkers. A lovely day over here, though, isn't it? Good lord, love it. 
Okay, so let's just do a bit of this. Take it into reverse. There you go. Okay. And then we'll just try and sling this around the corner here where we can. He wants it on the track, so he shall bloomin' well get it on the track there. Anything else he can figure out himself. Take our time around that. There you go. No. Oh. I'll do it. We can tip it there, I reckon. I'll be fine. Happy days and stone. He shall have. I should keep him busy for a little bit, I hope. Go and find out. I couldn't even put my drill away properly because he nicked the trailer for it. Um, oh, he's already in there. Okay, well, perfect. All right, well, then we will probably just pull ourselves out of the way and then go and just see what Uncle's doing over the hill there, how he's getting on. Uh, I'll have to come back at some point or another to uh, have a bit of a play around. But essentially, it looks like we'll have a bit of a pond. He did mention there as well that when we get a, a contractor in, we are toying with the idea of getting rid of our sprayer, to be honest, because it's a bit old. Uh, not very accurate. All the deer are here. They won't be here much longer. Um very uh very old-fashioned for for modern standards and it's just a bit slower to get everything covered whereas local contractor can come in and whip around most of our ground very quickly indeed so that may, may well be what we end up doing to be honest okay well let's just get out of his way uh and then we're gonna have a bit of a peek on the hillside uh and see what uncle's doing really see how that's plowing over uh as i mentioned there this field will be going into spring barley in the spring, obviously, as will the far one. And then we'll be getting those ones over there in the new year as well. So we'll probably have one large block of spring barley down here as it currently stands. Uh, that way as well, we can get, might even be able to get a little bit of a cover crop into here for a few weeks before we come to drilling spring barley. I don't know. Grain, there it goes. Uh, but we'll certainly find out. Um, this is like a little meteorological station. Doesn't really have too much access or activity there these days from what I've seen. Oh, there he is. Looks like we're just going to miss him there. But yeah, so he started this field, uh, came down late yesterday afternoon, got about an hour done. He's not long been down here this morning, so but he's making some hefty progress for probably what about two hours. Uh, and it's turned out really nice actually. This has been pasture for a while, uh, and it's it was put into grassland when my other uncle first rented it, and then at the end of the tenancy there, the previous farmer put it back in the grass as well. But it's turned over very nicely. Looks like it won't take much to actually. Uh, do much with it to knock the tops off there so it could be nice and quick and easy uh vulture has been very impressive we've all had a bit of a go on it uh we got some plowing done with it over at bellum uh over at moor farm the other day uh with bungle doing that and then uncle's having to go on it today as well it's really great to be able to have a bigger tractor which can pull my five furrow plow just so it means that we can cover more ground as and when i'm drilling with the massey so it's it's really really good to see that one and it's it's really opened our eyes to what we might want to look into getting in the new year uh like i say we've got this for another week week and a half or something like that so we'll continue to use it and see how it goes but it's very n nimble very agile nice short wheelbase tractor as well really really impressive bit of equipment there we'll not bother uncle because he looks like he is all uh, full ahead there so we'll let him do his thing but yeah very impressive so looking forward to see um uh, you know figure around with some costs and ideas we might try and get a few other demos of similar size of tractors and wheelbases that kind of stuff but yeah, that's a, a good favorite. And that one's really smooth on the road, actually. Very, very nice on the road. Transmission takes a little bit of getting used to, I won't lie. But once you do, yeah, it's not too bad at all. It's not too bad. So we'll uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, and then we will be... Yeah, we'll be all wrapped up. Really get this field plowed over. There's the field that's going to beat and barley over at the... Um, over at Moor Farm. Uh, so one, two, three fields left for, for now. And then everything else will be... Uh, there's only what, a couple of fields left for the spring as well. And then we're all set. Uh, fascinating, really. But yeah, I'm going to go back up and tidy up a few things around the yard. Uh, probably give this tractor a bit of a wash down. I gave it a bit of a service over the other day so we can get it on top of that one. I don't think I'm required for any more stone. I've got a little bit of mucking out I can do over the yard whilst I'm there. So that is probably exactly what we'll go and do. Alright, just give me a beep. I'm away. 
gonna leave him to do his thing there. Uh, so I don't know if you can quite see it through here. There's a little bit of a dip and there's a stream that comes or drain more than anything comes through here. Oh yeah, it's in there. So he's gonna try and build that up a little bit, I think. We'll see how well he gets on with that. Uh, very much not my concern. Uh, and I will leave him to do it. He's happy there and he's also out my way. So, you know, that is also fine. Uh, and then we will see. But yeah, these two sheds down here, actually. I'd love to be able to get into these ones. I don't think they're being used. Let's have a quick peek. Um, it would be great to have a big storage space. I would love to get a hold of the dryer of some sort because I think it'll be really beneficial to control our, uh, some of our grain when we need to. Um, because like I say, we're at the beck and call already. Straw shed here would be good to use. I don't know if this is open or not. Oh, it is. And there's a big old dryer in here as well. So a nice big hard floor to tip things onto. We get the combine in here out of the way for the winter as well. That would be pretty cool. But, you know, it's not ours right now. We haven't got it. So we'll see what happens over the winter and see when we can uh, get that released to us. Uh, but, you know, lots to, uh, lots to consider, that's for sure. And then, yeah, we're going to get ourselves back on over. So we'll probably leave it here. Thank you very much for watching a bit of an all sorts episode today as we continue to fly along. So I hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so, please do hit that like button and consider leaving a comment down below as well. And I will endeavor to get back to all those as and when I can. Until next time, though, thank you very much for watching. I've been Simulation for the Nation. This has been my farming life. We'll see you all in the next one. Catch you later.